Okay. Uh, so, uh, ladies and gentlemen, so first of all, I'd like to thank uh, all of you to participate in this uh, workshop program. And uh, this is uh, uh, the formal name is Mushot Rarandi International Symposium. Our working group six, the, uh, the mission is uh, determine the, uh, our mission to pro a goal for creating innovative non-traditional science and technologies based on quantum and related phenomena. So I'm uh, serving uh, uh, to this working group uh, as a chair. I'm Yasuko Arakawa from the University of Tokyo. And uh, Professor Kitagawa uh, at the Osaka University serving the vice uh, sub-chair uh, after this working group. So this is the agenda of the, this workshop. First, I'll give you some introductions, and then we have the three <coughs> presentations uh, by this distinguished speakers on the uh, hard hardware, quantum software, and also quantum network. After that, we will have the panel discussions. During, before the starting the discussion itself, we have a short presentation by, uh, by a distinguished guest from the United States and uh, Europe. We have three uh, present, short presentations. After that discussion, we'll start. Uh, Professor Kitagawa will preside uh, this panel discussion. Okay, so first uh, let me uh, uh, introduce the committee members uh, uh, who worked very hard for preparation of internal report, which you have uh, at your desk. So uh, uh, in addition to myself and Professor Kitagawa, the members are uh, Dr. Hidemi Ishiuchi at the Kyokusha Corporation, and uh, Professor uh, Nobuyuki Imoto at Osaka University, and uh, Tetsuo, Tetsuro Nishino at the Tokyo University of Electrical Communication. So thank you. I would like to appreciate uh, uh, their great effort for preparing uh, the IR uh, report, uh, uh, internal report uh, for of the working group six. Okay, just uh, I show the one overview of the, uh, before showing uh, our discussions. Uh, the objective of this symposium is uh, the following. On the basis of IR, we discuss the proposed moonshot growth goal. You can discuss the validity or the expectation to the uh, proposal by Moonshot Goal, defined at IR. And uh, I sh already maybe mentioned in the pro videotape, uh, I show some uh, structures of the program, which is open to public. 100 million Japanese yen was uh, prepared in the second supplementary budget of 2018 fiscal year. Seven working groups discuss uh, this moonshot goal. So you can guess the size of the budget. Okay, so first uh, let me briefly uh, introduce the background of the, our discussions. This, these uh, are described in the IR. So, uh, but I, I'd like to read this. The progress of the semiconductor technology has been the driving force behind today's rapidly growing information society. Towards the uh, realization of Society 5.0, the demand for the computers will increase explosively. However, however, computer progress in such conventional style will soon come to an end. Then, uh, a number of important communication Computational tasks are known to be difficult or impossible to perform using uh, current style supercomputers or other uh, computers. 
many of such difficult tasks are expected to be efficiently calculated by using a large scale fault tolerant universal quantum computer. Based on this uh, background, the working, uh, we start to the discuss the moonshot goal. The working group six reviewed and discussed the candidate of the moonshot goals from various perspectives, considering social demand toward the development or developing quantum computers, global, uh, global trend in research and technical challenges, such that the MS goal will be ac accepted by many as a variable, viable goal which should be achieved by 2050. After the tough discussion, finally, the working group six proposed the following mission to goal, realizing a fault tolerant universe computer quantum computer that will revolutionize economy, industry, and security by 2050. The moonshot goal in 2050 is very clear. <laughs> Maybe you all agree to this. We also set uh, two milestones for reaching the goal. Those are development of NISC computer of a certain scale and effective demonstration of the quantum error correction by 2030. This is mile, one milestone, or the first milestone. The second milestone is a demonstration of distributed NISC computer and the calculation of the useful tasks under the quantum error correction by 2040. Towards this, this uh, moonshot goal and milestones, we should aim at uh, developing hardware, quantum software, and the quantum network system. Regarding the hardware, needless to say, not only superconducting qubit, but also trapped ions, photons, and silicon quantum dots should be also investigated at the present stage. So again, I show you uh, the milestone by 2030. I don't mention the details of the, uh, this milestone. You can see uh, the the target of hardware, quantum software, and also network systems. Also, we sh I will show you the milestones of the two by 2040. Demonstration of distributed NISC computer and calculation of the useful tasks and the quantum error correction. We have two sub milestones. Demonstration of the distributed NISC computer and uh, the useful task calculation used under the quantum error collection. So finally, as already mentioned, we have uh, uh, the moonshot goal you know, by 2050. Okay, uh, at today's discussion, on the basis of the initial report, the following is uh, discussed the, we discussed the proposed uh, moonshot goal and the strategy and the milestone towards the milestone uh, moonshot goal candidate. <coughs> and uh, uh, also, we want to listen to the expectation to Japan. Okay, so now we are moving to the presentation by the three distinguished speakers in the three fields, hardware, quantum software, and the quantum network. So first, I'd like to call Professor Yasunobu Nakamura 
Who will talk about the hardware?